an opportunity to get uh, some proprietary work from uh, Pmax to strengthen some existing, older and existing steel structures using uh, pre-stressed concrete in the, in the legs. And also we, <coughs> we formed a joint venture with a French company, Ocean Structures of France, uh -huh. <coughs> and uh, they and we were involved in the first prototype articulated tower. It's a 200 foot long cil cylinder. Mm -hmm. um, and it was installed in the Bay of Biscay in France and uh, successfully. Mm -hmm. So that went well. <coughs> and then we bid uh, work with another s French company called uh, Ocean Structures of France mm -hmm. for, uh, uh, again, uh, uh, concrete offshore storage structure okay. and we bid for the ECOFIS okay. oil storage which we didn't get which went to uh, CG Doris uh -huh. and they did, did very well with that. And so you're specializing in pre-stressed concrete? Yeah with ocean structures. Yeah. Yeah. But then uh, then I left Dravot <coughs> headhunted by Brown and Root and uh, joined Brown and Root in 72. Uh -huh. And uh, it's only with them a short time in Houston when they sent me over to uh, London to be the deputy project manager in BP40's project. Right. Okay. And I did that job for a year or two and then my boss got promoted and I was a senior project manager for the remainder of, uh, of BP40's, yes. Yeah. Yeah, tell us, tell us a little more about the 40s project. Yeah, 40s is four platforms. Uh, actually, it was in the Guinness Book of Records as the deepest uh, offshore platform, which is kind of <laughs> unusual nowadays. Yeah. That was 420 feet. Now they're going down a couple of miles in some cases. Yeah. But uh, at that time, it was uh, kind of a revolutionary Big breakthrough. Big structures. Yeah. yeah, and heaviest. Heaviest modules ever lifted, 2,000 tons. Now the 14,000 tons. Big construction. Brown had those big construction vessels that they we did over there. Yeah. It was interesting. With the one we had, <coughs> we designed the modules, and it ended up uh, some of the modules were too heavy for our uh, lift barge, derrick barge. So we had to bring in Harima <laughs> <laughs> to lift our own <laughs> design. <laughs> But that, that went quite well, and the uh, project, when, when BP started that project, oil, I think, was only $2.70 a barrel, believe it or not, yeah. in the uh, 70s, 70s, somewhere. Yeah. And uh, by the time we finished the four, four uh, structures, it was $15 a barrel. BP was uh, worried about making money, but they did well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, I think it was a couple of years ago, they sold sold what was left of the 40s to one of the American, other smaller American companies. <coughs> and then at the end of uh, 40s, if you want to know more about 40s, yeah, I can yeah, yeah, no, I do, yeah. yeah. About 40s, okay. Four structures, the deepest uh, water at the time. Now, who were you working with in? in some of the people from Brown and Root. Oh yeah, with well, them, so. well, Bill Stallworth yeah. was, he was back in Houston then as my boss. And uh, a couple of others, Roy Jenkins, uh, he's passed away. Uh, uh, none others in this Hall of Fame though. Yeah. Well, no wait, there was uh, Jay Widler, Dr. Jay, Jay Widler, Widler yeah. yeah. He's the one that. Uh, he was back in Houston and he yeah. helped design the actual jackets. Right. We did the design and project management in the yeah. 40s uh -huh. by ourselves, no joint venture, yeah. <coughs> which I found out later is a real advantage to be by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Jay was the one who headed up the history project for Brown and Root. Yeah, yeah, right. Nice guy. I like him. I think he's retired now. I'm not sure. He might still be consulting. Right. Yeah. <coughs> uh, Okay. And then you, then, um, so after the 40s, you moved on to the Stratford B development? Stratford B, yes, as project director. Yeah. 
And that was a big, big project. It was about $2 billion, which was a lot of, in, in those days. Yeah. BP-40 is about $1 billion. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You were, and you were project director, right? Right. And it was a joint, <coughs> joint venture with Norwegian Petroleum Consultants, <coughs> which was also an internal joint venture in Norway, the 10 Norwegian engineering construction companies, huh. including Acker, Caverner, Nor Consult, and a whole bunch of others who had never ever worked together before. <laughs> it was a 50% 50, 50 broader, 50% Norwegian petroleum consultants, <coughs> and uh, it was a mani management challenge. Thrown together on this, uh, yeah, from the Norwegian side. By the Norwegian side. government, yeah. and uh, the client, there, there were ten client companies, including Stad Oil, Mobil was the operator, mm -hmm. Stad Oil, Conoco, X, Esso then, and uh, a bunch of others, uh, oil companies. So you had this conglomerate of oil companies and the conglomerate of Norwegian engineering companies, and we were brown and root. <coughs> so it was quite a challenge, but we managed to get along well and it, after, after some difficult times. But we ended up uh, being on budget and on schedule at the very end. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was quite an experience.